there's a there's a big deal when a, a million pound loads goes across the bridge there's a lot of evaluation side of it and you have to we have different people in in our group that evaluate bridges and when these when you have a large load going across these bridges there is a lot of time and effort and a lot of manpower in making sure that nothing's going to happen to the bridge and we're protecting the public investment with it. The pulling of the load itself, the, the truck, the manpower, all that everybody choreographed everything, just the, the outline of how the job went was amazing. I mean, you, they were, even though they were a little behind on things, but they were still on par with holding traffic, safety was their main key. I mean, just the overall move is what impressed me, especially how many pounds it was crossing one of these bridges and to be a part of this also for history is is what what is great and amazed me uh the day was actually pretty windy in the morning but fortunately the load moved a little bit slower than normal and the weather cleared up for us to be able to fly that day so it was later in the morning but we had a chance to be able to be ready and prepared right when the load got to us we were actually in the air right when the load started cresting the hill coming towards the bridge itself. This is what we're starting with as a state. This is the Mavic 2 Enterprise series. And we have two of them right now. This is the thermal uh, drone and Brandon Bartlett right now is flying our Zoom, which is, they're really neat to have. They're saving us a lot of time, a lot of money. Um, right now, these are what we're starting with just to pave the way to see how we can utilize them in bridge inspections to be able to save us time, money, and to keep us off the roadways in traffic and utilize them for certain bridge inspection frequencies. Well, as a state, we have over 7,000 bridges, but in the department I work with, we're a quality control, quality assurance program. And what we do is we go throughout all 10 districts and they cycle a certain criteria out of the bridges that the previous bridge inspectors have inspected and we go out and do an in-depth report and they compare our two reports to make sure that we're all all uniformed and all keeping up with the same kind of uh, reporting to make sure that we're all doing this what we need to do mandated by congress um, i know that let's take district one for an example i know when i was working there they would have anywhere from 24 to 30 bridges per team leader and at the time I was working there, there was only three team leaders. So, I mean, if you have 24 to 30 bridges per team leader each month, that's a lot of bridges to take care of in a, in a, in a month. There's two different cycles. There's an in-depth and a routine. Uh, the in-depth requires us to be able to visually be in front of us and touch it. Uh, routine, we can use these drones to fly up to areas that are not accessible and or it requires rigorous rigging instead of having to worry about getting a man lift, closing down certain lanes of traffic, you can be able to use a drone to fly up to it and get within feet and be able to zoom in into these areas and to check to make sure that everything's fine with these, with these bridges. It makes it safer for us. For us, it's amazing, especially the way technology is. I mean, the technology is advancing so much now and it's actually becoming beneficial for us to be able to do this in a faster, timely manner and to be more efficient and safe with it. I mean, it's a great time to be working with highways.